<laughs> which camera? Which one of the three broken lenses is it? It's more of like a no. Nope. Is it this one? Nope. Yes. Ooh. Anyway, those are going down video. Yeah, we're uh, on the train. We're drinking Worf Center Dunkles. And now, uh, because I made a video of it, it's all a text write off. Yeah. All a text write off. On the ocean, and there are um, this dog swimming in the water, right? Hey, Brendan. We're at City Field. Yes, we are. Just got off the train. Waited in line 20 minutes. We're ready to rock and roll. You got your beer. Beer one of eight, I believe. Right? That's not true. One of eight. That's Batman. But we all owe you a beer. So. Original filet mignon steak sandwich. Oh yeah, that spicy shot now. spring Thank slice. You. Original print slice. What do I want? We got coffee. Though. There's other spots. I know, but this all looks good too. Go ahead, Mark. Section fifty. Filet mignon steak sandwich. City feel. A little smart water. It looks like cheese is melty, bread is crispy. First bite. They have a sauce on there. Solid. Steak is not chewy at all, it's definitely filet. Bread has perfect crisp. It's a buy. You're not ready yet, right? It's a buy. It's absolutely a buy. Okay, here I am at uh, City Field with the family. Got uh, all my nephews here, not all of them. But, uh, yeah, the ones you like anyway. Yeah, one's, yeah, one's on here. It's guy. Gonna enjoy some uh, stadium food, we'll see. This was a previously prepared hot dog, which I'm not a fan of, but I'm gonna try it. It's cold. Not a buy. Not a buy. Mm -hmm. No. All right, we'll get to me. Just keep it going. All right. Yeah, City Field. Like? Spicy. Yep. Right here. City Field. Spicy chicken sandwich. It's got some schmutz in it. Bread is a potato roll. Uh, nothing else on it. Some pickles on the bottom. That's about it. Yes, now. Yeah, no. Um, chicken's good. Nice and crispy. They said spicy, not a lot of spice. All together though, that's good. You can slam it. It's a buy. So, uh, <laughs> so I'm going to do a, a beverage uh, review. It's my first food review on Quack Pack. Glad to be here at City Field, uh, home of the New York Metropolitans. Uh, I got myself a uh, an old fashioned in the special bar over here, made with Hudson Baby Bourbon, which is coincidentally my favorite bourbon in the world. Let's try a little sip of root. Mm, see, that's nice. It's got a little bit of play. It's got a little bit of sweet. It'll get you drunk. It's a buy. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Doing fantastic. What seats do you have? 15 row 8. Uh, seats 1 and 2. I, I, I just need to see one. Yeah, show them one, please. Yeah. Because I got this. I think we're right there. Okay, you do it on this side. Yep, thank you, sir. All right, sit in your seats. Sit in your seats. Thank you so much. Sit in your seats. I'm going to send you to you. want to do a seat review, right? Real quick. Wait. Let's do See, the key to a good seat review is you need to be standing and to go into the seated position. The initial squish, the recline. You take in the environment and you say to yourself, this is a great fucking seat. Oh! The lap of luxury. Even with John here. Even with Ryan here. Great. Same joke. <laughs> what a great time, huh? We're going to get a foul ball through this motherfucker. And I hope you catch it with your mouth. I hope I don't. Can you bleep, bleep the curses? There's going to be a lot of curses. I can't wait to see the pitching. I can't wait. You know what I love about City Field is, you know, I've been here a few times. And everywhere that I've been, the seat has been fantastic. But when you sit here, you realize that those seats were shit. My least favorite seats have been under the porch over there, under the Pepsi porch. Like, 
But you know what? You still had a good time. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Those are my least favorite seats. This actually right up here in front of the Mets booth, I had seats, and that's where I caught a foul ball. You're going to be able to tell balls and strikes here. You're going to yeah. be able to tell foul balls, whether it's in. Uh, this is unreal. And they were smart going with the dark colored seat. It's nice. I'm a big fan. Big fan. This is the one thing that the Will Ponds did great. <laughs> <laughs> the only great thing coming out of New York. Nope. Oh. So apparently I look like a large. So thank you. Thank you to the woman who brought it here. You know what? I've been to a couple of free giveaways. I gotta say, this is one of my favorite ones. This one's dope. The colors look good. Like it's light. I'm not gonna pretend it's not. It's clearly giveaway quality, but as giveaway quality works. Good for a hot day though. Oh hell yeah. I like the 24. I think it looks solid. They got the awesome double or triple banding to the arms. What's the name on it? I like it. New York. You guys are sponsored by Hyundai, but in a classy way. You know? Will I fit into it? Probably not. Good night trip, though. But I like it. Can't help but notice for all you Rangers fans, but this is Islanders colors. Yep. I like how Isaiah Thomas now is trying to go out and like, I'm an okay guy. Yeah. It's like, no, you're a piece of shit. Well, maybe not a piece of shit. Maybe that's strong. You want to go on a record calling Isaiah <laughs> Nah, I shouldn't do that. Bleep that out. Don't. Don't. He's been filming all the time. Pascal, don't delete that out, please. Hi, Pascal. Hi, Wish Pascal. you were here. Hi, Pascal. Pascal wishes he's not here. Only put on the things oh. that we say oh, nice about. The other Hudson people. Bourbon, if you could have the Hudson Bourbon and then the label pop across the screen. Pop across. Oh, what's the word of the day today? About the word nice of the guys. day is inevitable. Inevitable? Legs, no, it's inevitable. We've done it like four times already. Is what? Inevitable. Oh, yeah. You said it like four times on the train. You inevitable. You guys inevitable. Inevitable. He was there. We just both waved at the same time. Someone tells me. Is she wearing a MAGA hat? I'm wearing it more of a fashion statement than a political statement. I'm wearing it ironically. She looks like she's really interesting to talk to. I bet you she makes a good... Cosmo. But she makes it in a plastic cup. Yeah, they're prepping for a what's rain that, delay here, fellas. What's that drink with like the uh, salt in the rim and it's a blind margarita? Margarita. 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 I bet you she makes a good margarita. I, she drinks wait, a good margarita. Wait, hold on, hold on. Make them. I make Is that how you just described a margarita? <laughs> Is that drink with salt on the rim and lime? And you guys got it immediately. Immediately, I mean, that's... It was like, what's the guy's name? It was like that. Margarita. That says more about us than it does about him. Uh, wonderful margarita with. recipe, by the way. Two ounces of tequila, a half ounce of Grand Marnier, half ounce of triple sec, uh, ounce and a half of orange juice, ounce and a half of lime juice, shake well, spoonful, tablespoon of uh, simple syrup, and then uh, you want to lime your rim and with either sugar or salt works either way ryan if you were to switch that to say gin how would your how would your recipe alter well i wouldn't make a gin margarita but okay well i'm not a bartender i would take i'd make a gin and tonic that's that's what you would and then i would throw it away because gin <laughs> i had bad experiences actually no i had one bad experience when you went to bed and left me with all your friends and they got me hammered on bombay sapphire bed. yes you did you wet the bed and that was it that's the story. Like and, then, five feet away. and then he laid it. <laughs> it's warm. I suck. <laughs> you think the Vachans are just in there talking yeah. about yeah. all of us? Yeah. I'll go check out. You're drinking your Cabernet. I'll be back. Uh -huh. Thanks, guys. Have fun. You too, man. Our bad cheese. It's a good day. I needed it.